Mike and Jay, you can stop recording. Chris, it is now oh. time for your <laughs> YouTube exclusive segment. Chris <coughs> won't stop recording. This episode is where he talks about what happened at the end of the movie to Dr. Van Helsing. All right, so we're here to talk about the end of Dr. Van Helsing. <sighs> where do I begin? So, I mean, really, it all starts when Creep Van Dien goes to fight Dracula. But at the same time, he has made a deal with the Crips to go fight the vampires. And so, at the, in the middle of all of this, <sighs> Van, Dr. Van Helsing is stuck in a, the middle of a table, about to be eaten, sucked dry, because the table is holding him down. Count Dracula is going to suck him dry. Um, and so he's there and he's begging for help, begging for help, begging to be released. But the Crips and Creep Van Dien are five. They've got their hands full. They are they are fighting the other vampires trying to. They're fighting for the survival of their race. Is that racist to say? I don't I, you know, what? It doesn't matter because the vampires are fighting for their freedom. That's what we're going to say. So we've got these vampire freedom fighters. They're fighting Count Dracula. And they win. And eventually, they let Van Helsing go. Or so we can only assume. Because in an ironic twist, <sighs> Creep Van Dien once made Van Helsing's son into a vampire. Thinking that Van Helsing would change his... Oh, shit, I have cats running everywhere. Um, thinking that Van Helsing would soften his views towards... The vampires, you know, uh, and I think in this case, it's a valid assumption that vampires equal right wing kind of conservative types. I, I don't know if we want to bring politics into this or what we're going to do. But at the same time, Van Helsing is himself a former Nazi, the ultimate right wing wing nut, I guess you could say. I mean, he worked for Hitler. I mean, that's uh, you don't get much more right wing than that. Am I right? Am I right? <laughs> anyway, so the vampires are now the ultimate expression of liberalism as explained by, you know, I'm not going to get into the whole welfare state because it's not really a fair comparison being liberal myself. It's not a, uh, I don't really agree with that, but despite their differing views, the crip vampires release Van Helsing from the table, <sighs> but not before. Well, I mean, there are differing schools of thought on this. I mean, if you, uh, if you subscribe to the traditional view of, vamp of vampirism and the spread of it as a sexually transmitted disease kind of metaphor, um, Casper Creep Van Dien, I should say, turns him in a, I guess, in, in, a, in an attempt to make him realize what he missed. Because when Van Helsing realizes he is now a vampire and realizes how little he has changed as a being between mortal and immortal, he's still the same person deep down. He still has a soul. He feels that his son, like he killed, he murdered his son. He feels that he murdered his son. But I think the more interesting interpretation of this is that Creep Van Dien had sex with Van Helsing while he was still stuck in the table, thereby converting him into a vampire and giving him that ultimate realization that, oh... I killed my son after having sex. I mean, it's a whole like homosexuality, like gay metaphor. I think if you subscribe to the sexually transmitted disease version of vampirism. So regardless, whether, whether he was bitten by, <laughs> by creep Van Dien or, I mean, fucked creep Van Dien. Um, the, the result is, is the same. Van Helsing murdered his goddamn son. <laughs> I I hope that worked. Okay. <laughs> um, I have a producer's note on that. All right, I've yeah. taken my headphones off. Hey, I'm now. Yes, my hey, hey, producer's note. Um, we sh you should whoever is hosting it should say that to Chris. Hey, <laughs> two people, you can turn off your mics now. Uh, Chris, go ahead and explain this one topic. We're gonna let him over explain, all right? <laughs> but all right. but we keep our mics on technically. <laughs> And no. then, so, but, but no, no, yes, but can't interject. <laughs> and the, and the rule is you can't interject, but you can laugh. Because a laugh track would be funny. I completely disagree. 
No, man. <laughs> the bit is oh, that Chris friend. won't stop recording. If we're all recording, it doesn't work. Well, I think the laugh and track I'm works for you. That's a segment that would be funny to have laughs involved. No, but <laughs> as opposed are to just to, shouting into the void. If people are listening to YouTube exclusive, Chris won't stop recording, and we're all on it. I don't give a shit about that. <laughs> I'll well, stick my headphones so out so I'll get everyone's it's response. It's more interesting if you have something, some sort of laughter involved. Well, that's what laugh tracks are for. <laughs> All right, please. Wait, no. New producer's idea. Paul, put a laugh track in. Canned <laughs> <laughs> Seinfeld laughter. <laughs> um, I had something that I wanted to bring up. I can't remember what it was. Was it green slime? 